Shalom and welcome to Tumitzav Torah. This year is entitled, Did You Know That Shlomo, Coin Seven Pinnas, Became a Very Poor Man? Shlomo Melech, our Gemara Erevin, on Mem Aleph. And when Aleph talks about Tishabov, falls out on Sunday. So Saturday is the time, Shabbos, when you have the Sudam of Sagas. You have a very lowly meal sitting on the ground. But the Gemara says, no, you have a suda filu kashlomo melech b'shato, like shlomo melech b'shato in his time. What does that mean? So the Rashi and Tanit, Chavtet Amit Bet says, it's referring to the Gemara and Gein, Samachet. Amit Bet, which is so, it talks about shlomo, was it the king, it was the king of the world, and then he went down, down, down to a poor person or nothing. Some say he came back to his full glory, some say not. But what's the bottom line that you had this person that went down and therefore Shlomo of Shato, that you can have a great meal on Shabbat, our Gemara and Erevin says. You can have a great meal on Shabbat like Shlomo in his heyday, Bishato in his great times, as opposed to in his poor days, we had nothing. That's Pshat in the Rashi explaining our Gemara uh, based, and Erevin based on the Gemara in Gittin. But it's an amazing Musa Haskell, Shlomo Melech, king of all times, wealthiest of the wealthy. And according to Gemara again, Samachet, he had very tough times. That's life. We think somehow we, we have everything, all the physical gosh is going to stay with us, and maybe it will for a few more years. Maybe not. It's a good message for all of us. Shalom.